penalty phase of the Kamazurjewski trial starts on October 24th. That terrible crime some four years ago rocked the town of Cheshire. News Ace Bob Wilson continues our team coverage tonight. He's on the scene with reaction from that community. What you're looking at here is a memorial, the Three Angels Garden. This is the spot where Jennifer Hawk Pettit and her two daughters were killed, where their home used to be, where it was burned to the ground. Even though a light rain falls tonight, it's not extinguishing the candles or stopping the determined few to come here and remember three lives that were cut short in a tragic way. It's a horrendous crime, very horrendous, and I think it's going to take a long time to heal. A single candle burns. People leave flowers and crosses and rosaries. It's a garden for remembering lives taken in a way no one wants to talk about. Alone in the darkness of the garden, people pray. A difficult place to be in, a difficult time for the community. It's a great tribute to the family, but it's just sad. It just, it's a sad place for me. So. Is it hard to be there? It is. It is hard. Just, it's, it's hard. It's what this family somewhat was reduced to. So it's, it's touching. As the facts came out in court and the jury said guilty on all 17 counts, for many it doesn't seem to heal or bring closure. It only brings back the images and stories of that one night four years ago. A horrible way that happened. I mean, just, again, reading some of the stories and you read uh, what was going on at the time with the gasoline and everything else, and it just, you know, makes you just cringe. Uh, and I, you know, having children myself, just think, my God, you know, I just I would never want anybody to go through that. For some, today's guilty verdicts are a step in the right direction, but only a small step on a long, winding path through a garden with constant reminders of an 11-year-old and a 17-year-old and their mother and what their final moments must have been like. It's, it's very bad and I feel bad for the Pettit family. It's a piece out of their heart and it's a sad situation for the family. So as people drive by and look at the garden or get out and light a candle, they remember the words of Dr. Pettit who says, today's verdicts, they don't change anything. They may just sand off the jagged edges in the hole in his heart. I'm Bob Wilson on the scene in Cheshire. News 8.